there are a ton of Rocket League players who absolutely hate 1v1. And if this sounds like you, well, I hate to break it to you, but it's probably because you're not playing 1v1 the correct way. Mainly due to the fact that you find yourself getting frustrated rather than having as much fun with it as possible. So in today's video, we'll be discussing what you can do to not only find more enjoyment in 1v1, but also make each and every game you play more beneficial for your improvement. So what exactly can we do to take 1v1, a mode that is notoriously hated across the Rocket League community, and actually make it enjoyable? Well, there are two steps that we're going to need to take. Step number one, you're going to go head on over to your settings and in the gameplay settings, there is a show competitive ranks option. What you're going to do is you're going to set that to none. And what this means is that when you look at your playlist, you have absolutely no idea what your rank or division is. If you are utilizing Bacchus mod, make sure you also turn off its ability to see your actual MMR so that you don't have that available to you either. Then the second thing we're going to look at is how we're actually playing the game. Now, obviously, when most people play 1v1, they're doing so in the competitive playlist, which means that they are trying really hard to actually win the game. When in reality, I want you to throw that idea out of your head. What we're doing in these 1v1s is basically treating it as another form of training, therefore allowing us to focus on improvements rather than winning each individual game. So as we go into these 1v1 games, there are three things that we want to focus on. Number one, and arguably the most important, is our awareness of our opponent. We want to utilize these 1v1 games to start training ourselves to look at our opponent's cars, therefore allowing us to read what they're going for just a little bit easier. The second thing we want to focus on is obviously defense. When going up against a live opponent, they're obviously going to be coming at you with their own brand of offense. This allows us to work on making difficult saves even when under immense amount of pressure, such as any situation when you're left back alone in any other game mode. And the last thing we want to focus on is offensive creativity. Now when it comes to this, we want to make sure that we're actually trying to go for shots that allow us to beat our opponent. This will prepare us for the other game modes so that when we do have time alone with the ball, we can actually utilize it to make a play for our team rather than just throwing possession of the ball away and putting our team in a bit of a bad spot. And there's no better area to train all of these skills than 1v1, simply because there's no one else on the field that you can blame your mistakes on. And if we're focusing on simply improving, we can take a look at those mistakes and see what we need to do to help ourselves get better. Away we go here with game number one, looking to focus on those three core elements of the game that will not only be helpful here, but will also be helpful in the other game mode. So that guy got boost. We want to get back here. Messed up our flip a little bit. This is dangerous. Go ahead and get that block though. He's rotating back. He's going to beat us. We'll just be calm here. Go grab some boost. See what we can do. Going to take time here. Be a little creative and take the 50 just like that. So we see we're given a bit of space there. A little bit of creativity to not just drive forward and slam a shot on target. Freezes the defense on the goal line there. And just like that, we're off to a great start. Should be able to secure the mid boost here. That guy did not get his corner, so he's going to turn back. Trying to chip it around him. Not quite. He's going to try to play this ball early. So we'll go ahead and grab boost. Get back here. Go around him. See what he does now with this. Just stay in front of the ball. Don't give him free passage towards the net. This is all well and good. 50 this one off of him. Flip downfield. He's chasing it. We're just going to apply the pressure. Grab the boost. Have some time here. Let's actually utilize it. Go up to the backboard perhaps. Looking for a potential double. Not quite. We have thrown ourselves out of the play here a little bit. So need to scramble back a little bit quickly. And we've done so just fine. 50 that one that might just be in the net taking the good challenge expected the turn and it is indeed just in the net nothing to it good defense there to read that he was gonna turn early we can go ahead and just play the block low boost there so we don't have much of an option for control so just sit behind the ball force the 50 this is a good kickoff and we get the pre-flip forward and that's gonna go ahead and be yet another goal 3-0 lead just over a minute in but this is 1v1 so we got to be very careful things can flip in an instant here that guy faked the kickoff he is grabbing mid boost so let's see what we can do here get a reset oh close there's our offensive creativity coming out he's gonna be able to get possession here so we're just gonna wait maybe fake the challenge 
See if we can get him to do something. What a flick. Should have jumped. Should have jumped. And this is exactly what we're talking about, right? You make a mistake. Now you're able to identify what went wrong. Saw the flick coming, just didn't respect it enough. Then again, you are in a tough spot there when your opponent has full control like that. Because if they do decide to just fake it, then it's all kinds of messy. But we're going to go ahead and take yet another kickoff goal. Not a problem. We'll go ahead and reestablish that three goal lead right away. Another thing we get to focus on a lot in 1v1 is our kickoffs because we get a ton of work on these. Let's go ahead and secure some boost here. He's backing off to the corner. Let's try to take a light touch. Uh, mess up our flip, maybe. That's fine. He's leaving us possession. Play this towards target. Not going to be able to catch back up to it. Going to lose the race to the boost as well. This is fine. He's in a bit of an awkward spot. Let's fake the challenge. Going to go early this time because we got flicked last time. Powerful shot on target. There we go. Another huge point of defense is being able to mix it up. So last time we waited back, this time we dive early. Switching it up, not allowing him to get comfortable with any one thing that we're doing. Very good adjustments. This should be possession. I'm going to wait to see if he gives it up. He does. We're going to take time here, though. He backs off. Just air dribble it towards the top of the net. He's expecting possible air dribble bump there as soon as he sees me jump, just because of how prevalent that is. As soon as we see him turn away, though, we see the opening. Let's just force it on through, back him off. See if we can bait him into thinking air dribble bump and then just take the air dribble right over the top. Go ahead and control this one through the air. Go for double here. And just like that, we're going to keep up the offensive creativity. That time, not just the plain air dribble. Going to go to the backboard with that one. We're looking perfectly great. That's a weird sentence that I just said. Perfectly fine here in this game. He's grabbing the other mid boost. This is fine. It's going to challenge early, perhaps. Pop up. This is going to be a bit awkward. Go ahead and recover back. Make sure we cut that across. He's going back to his own corner. This is fine. He can have it. We'll just wait patiently. He's going wall. All well and good. Not a great jump. He's actually leaving it. Go ahead and get the block. And that's going to be a forfeit. Lovely game. Cannot complain. That was indeed a game that was played. Lovely stuff. I think we had some very nice moments there. Obviously, some, some issues as well that we're going to want to clean up going into game number two. But overall, you can't complain when you Brazil your opponent within like the first half of the game. I'm not going to complain to that. And you can see just focusing on each of those elements is very important, right? We didn't repeat the same idea on defense over and over. We didn't repeat the same idea on offense. And what that does is it really throws off your opponent's ability to expect what's coming. If you keep going for the same thing over and over, then your opponent's just going to start to read what you're going for and cut off the play early. If you vary your attacks and your defensive strategies, it makes things a lot harder for your opponent to deal with. And then, of course, all this is just based around being aware of where your opponent is, what they're able to do, what they're capable of, and that will allow you to make the right decision both on and off the ball. Got another one on deck here. See what we got. Decent kickoff. That's rolling up. I'm not a huge fan of that, so I'm just going to go grab our, all right, my own corner boost here. It's going for the dribble. That's a good flick. Not in yet. Oh, good shot. Not a problem. We could have made a faster turn here, right? That was a good flick either way. We couldn't quite tell if it was in. But then we just kind of sat there and watched what happened after that. Let's see if I can snag this boost. I can. He's going to corner, so let's see if we can get this on target fast enough. Not quite. We did use a lot of boost in trying to chase that down. Whoa, that's not in. That is also not in. Secure the boost here. See what he does. Bang that on target. Oh, what a save. He's going to get back to that. I'm not going to dive. It's not worth it. Get the touch to the side. No problem. Going to be low boost here. Just trying to get it out. It's going to give me an opportunity to get pads here. Force. That's fine. He gives up the ball. We get the boost and the ball. Just control this. Go around him. Look for bump, maybe. Not quite. We can get the corner boost, though. And we'll just shoot that. And that's just in. And again, just recognizing he, he's just not going. Right? Like, we're looking here. He gets that touch. We turn around. We're expecting the possible clear. And then he just doesn't jump. And then we come out of the blind spot, just recognizing that we have an opportunity for the ball. And just making sure that we take it. He messed up his wave dash. Let's secure the boost here. 
Take this ball back. He is chasing us. This is fine. Play it downfield. 50 that. Trying to secure boost here. Not quite. Messed up our dash as well along the wall. Early turn. That's unfortunate. He's going to go ahead and get the goal there. But now we have at least shown that we are willing to turn early. We're not just going to sit back every time. That was a bit of an obvious one, though. So not the best idea there. All good, though. Another decent kickoff. Where's this guy? He's way out of the play. This is an, always an awkward ball to deal with, though. I don't know if he's gotten much boost. That's not a great touch, though. We've kind of just given up the ball. That's fine. He gives it right back. And we give it right back to him. It's just exchange. Go for the reset here. Close. Just off the post. That's probably going to be a goal the other way. Ah. Uh, not quite. We got the boost. He's going to recover back first. That's fine. We should be able to win his corner boost. Or not. But we do get a bump, at least. Fake this. See if he wants to give up the ball. Not quite. He's going to be back on it. Go ahead and take boost here. Watch the flick coming through. Go ahead and get the save. 50 that one. Secure the boost. He's going to be chasing. That's fine. 50 that one. See if I can secure his other boost. He's backed off. Go around him. Oh, no, the roll. I thought it was going to bounce. Oh, that's so that's such pain. He's probably going to score here. Oh, not the roll, man. Oh, that's so sad. Dang it. I also had time, right? That's where the awareness comes in. I really need to check to see if he's chasing. Oh, it's so unfortunate. I didn't need to dive at it. It was going to just roll right in front of the net. Didn't need to panic. He just gave me one back, though. We'll take it. Only one goal down. That is not a great kickoff. He's going to have the wave dash recovery. Go ahead and just get it out of there. He's left our corner boost for us, but he is back on the ball, so got to be careful here. He's going through the corner. 50 that one out. Secure the boost. It's given us space, so let's make sure we utilize it. Flick around. Get, it, get the boost from him. Should be able to get back to that. Yeah. Luckily, he goes to the sidewall. That's fine. Back we go. Should be able to secure this. Go early. That's a bit of an aggressive dive. He is in an awkward spot, though. What a shot. Oh, my gosh. What a play. Well done, honestly. I rushed back. He looked freaking awkward as all get out. Thought he was just going to, like, flounder at the ball for a while. But, man, magically, he's just right back under it. And again, that's the shortcoming of not actually eyeing up your opponents on those chases when you're chasing down the ball like that. Because I was definitely just staring at the ball right there instead of my opponent. Nice. That'll be it. Okay, we read the flip reset. We get over the top of it. Just barely. This is a neck and neck game here. Lovely stuff. Our defense being tested massively, which is exactly what we want in these situations. How's our kickoff? It looks great. We're going to secure the boost here. Going to just assume he's going to get boost, and he is. Caught him out. Just like that. Been seeing him go to get boost right off of kickoff here recently. So assumed, like, either he was going to be going to a corner or he was going to be floundering somewhere. Took a chance, and it's a bit dangerous since I didn't look. But again, he's kind of been going for the same idea all game. Couldn't really see where he is. He is not on this. Okay, we're going to have time. Over the top. Close. Not going to be able to fit it in. Grab the boost, though. He should be low. Just make sure we stay in front of this. Chip that to the side. That's fine. Flick this one downfield. Pressure. Make him flip for something. That works. I'm gonna go ahead and fake this challenge. Uh, why did I go that? <laughs> you know, it was the right idea, right? Like, we fake the challenge. Looks good. We bait him into something, maybe. And then we... <laughs> we make him move for the mid boost. Like, why? You know, sometimes you just gotta question your own decision making. It's like, it's like, what exactly are we going for here? Oh, what a recovery. Well done. Go ahead and pressure him off this ball at least. Uh, I might get back on it. Yeah, that's a nice one. All good. We still have 30 seconds. The joy of one wheel on this isn't over yet. I probably shouldn't have chased that ball down. Lots of good knowledge, though, that we're learning from this one. 
Gonna have a play here. Let's see what we can do with it. Nice first touch. And we'll just go right past him. Interesting. I knew he didn't have boost on the backboard there. So he finally made the right choice to not go get the corner. Actually, I think he just missed it. And then we take advantage. You know what? Let's go for a fake kickoff here, right? Let's not backflip. Let's go for the front flip. Ah, uh, he reads it. Let's go ahead and pop that up. Neither of us are going to have boost here. I'm expecting a shot. Pop that downfield. He's going to get back to it first. See if I can steal his boost, though. I can. Oh, he's over me. That's fine. Good touch. Gonna have one chance here. Oh, we're gonna drop it. Ah, oh, good idea. He was backing off, too. We would have had a play. Unfortunate, but plenty to learn from that, right? Like, obviously, you're not gonna win every game. And you're not really hoping to, right? Because if you're winning every game, then you're not really gonna notice your mistakes as much. So clearly right here, we just weren't as aware of our opponent as we needed to be. We got a bit better as the game went along, but certainly early on, we were giving up a lot of goals that we just really didn't need to concede. So hopefully this does inspire you guys to go play a little bit more 1v1. I do promise that it actually is quite enjoyable once you finally get into it. It takes a little bit to actually do so because you got to get over the mental hurdle of desperately wanting to win every single game. But once you get over that and you're just focusing on improving your own game and utilizing it as a training exercise rather than a competitive playlist, things certainly get a lot more enjoyable and you start to improve a lot faster as well. Of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you who made it to this point in the video, and I do hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you click that subscribe button right down below so you make sure you don't miss any future Rocket League content. Additionally, if you'd like to be a bit more involved in the community we're building here, feel free to join my Discord, which I'll have linked down in the description. And as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.